Hello students. So this particular question is from Mechanical 2018 evening session. So it's a very interesting question which has been given here. The problem of maximizing z is equal to x1 minus x2. So we have a z which has to be maximized. x1 minus x2. Subject to the constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 10 and x1 is greater than or equal to 0 and x2 is greater than or equal to 0 and x2 is also less than or equal to 5. So here if you observe, first thing is that x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 10. So x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 10. It means that if I consider this as x1 and this as x2. Now the region of x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 10 is going to be this one. This is the region where x1 plus x2 is going to be less than or equal to 10. Whereas the other region is going to be x1 plus x2 is greater than 10. Here it is equal to 10, x1 plus x2 is equal to 10 everywhere on this particular line. And below this it is going to be less than 10, above this it is going to be greater than 10. Now not only this, there are one, many more constraints. The value of x1 is going to be greater than that of 0, greater than or equal to 0. The value of x1 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. The value of x2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. The value of x2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And it is also given that the value of x2 is going to be less than or equal to 5. The value of x2, x2 is equal to 5 is somewhere here. So the value of x2 is going to be less than or equal to 5. So this is the region. So this is the region which belongs to the x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 10 and x1 greater than 0 x2 greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0 and x2 value is also going to be less than or equal to the value of 10. So when are we going to have a maximum value of z? So z is going to have a maximum when x is maximum, x1 is maximum and x2 is minimum. So x1 is maximum, it means that the value of x1 is equal to 10 and the value of x2 is minimum. What is the minimum value of x2? is this one. So in here it should be equal to the top 10 is the maximum value and x2 minimum value is 0. So the maximum value of z the function is going to be equal to the top 10. The maximum value of z is going to be equal to the top 10. So there is no other value of x1 x2 for which okay the, the all the constraints are satisfied and the, it's going to be a maximum value. So the maximum value of z is going to be equal to the top, the maximum value of x1 minus minimum value of x2. So 10 minus 0 which is equal to the top 10. So the answer for this question is, okay, I mean, you are having only one solution where z is going to have a maximum value that is equal to 10. The maximum value is nothing but 10. But there is only one solution for the value of x1 is equal to 10 and the value of x2 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is the value for which the function z is going to be maximum. So the answer for this question is only one solution. Option B is the right answer. So if you have any doubt regarding this particular question, you can call on the number 080-617-6622. Thank you.